Hi guys, I prepared some life hacks with edible phone cases for you. Hey, I want lots of edible phone cases. I promise to make lots of cases. For starters, let's show you how to make a Nutella phone case. First, we need to measure the width of the cookie. Make sure not to eat all of them before you finish the craft. <laughs> now, let's make some loops for our cookies with this wide rubber band and hot glue. Be careful with the hot glue, guys. It's very delicate work. You need to apply very small drops of glue. The bigger the case, the more cookies you can place on it. When you're out of cookies, you can use these loops to hold pencils. Now we need to make a small Nutella jar. Something like this. I painted the lid white. And I also made this sticker with the logo to make it even prettier. We can put some Nutella into the jar. It's a small jar, so we only need a little bit of Nutella. Mmm, look at it stretch. Oh, and it smells simply amazing. Give a thumbs up if you like Nutella. Great, now we only need to glue it to the phone case. Just apply some glue to the bottom and pop. Sammy, bring the cookies. Is it ready? Yes, I only need to attach the cookies now. In they go, into the loop. Sue, Sue, hurry, I can't wait. It's done. This is the Nutella phone case we made. Let's give it a try. Opening the lid, mmm. And here comes the cookie. Right into the Nutella. Oh, mmm, delicious. Now I don't need to climb the shelves! Cookies will always be with me! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> oh, that sweet tooth. Sam? What are you doing? What do you mean, what? Melting candies! You said we were going to make a Chupa Chups phone case! Oh, yes, right! All right, let's give it a try. Remember to wear oven mitts when you take out melted candies. Huh. If your candies aren't bright enough, you can add food coloring to them. A few drops will do. Yes. Okay. Now let's pour it into our candy mold. I'll make a drinking straw sturdier with wooden skewers. And place it onto our candy half. And pour some more melted candy on top. This is the candy we made. To glue this candy to our phone case, we won't need glue. We'll just use some melted candy instead. And moving on to the logo. I'll stick some tape over the printed paper logo to make it look more like real wrapping. Now let's cut a piece out of it. And wrap our candy into it. And done! If you like Chupa Chups just like Sam and I do, write I love candies too in the comments. Let's see how many sweet lovers are out there. And I'll go show it to Sam. Sam made a very easy phone case. I'm going to show you an idea meant for patient people. Are you patient? Then watch. We'll need some thin strips of baking paper and wooden skewers. One skewer should be enough, actually. Wrap the paper around the skewer like this, really tight. And secure the tip with some glue. A glue stick will work well. And we need to repeat it many, many times to get a whole pile of these paper sticks. About this amount will do. Now, let's make a base out of cardboard. One, and two, and hop. <laughs> it should be the same size as the phone case. Then, apply some glue to one of the pieces, just a bit. And glue one paper stick to it. Glue the next stick next to it. But make some space between them. See? Like that. Glue and press. Glue and press. Right, we glued seven sticks. Now let's cover them with the second piece of cardboard. We get this kind of structure which we need to secure on our phone case carefully. Just like this. Is that a paper spider or something? Sam, I'm not done yet. Be patient. Then we need to glue a paper stick at the side. And now we can start weaving our little basket. Nice and slow. Make sure not to crumple the sticks. Then glue the sticks on the other side. And cut away the excess. 
Hey, Sam, would you like to help me? Uh, is that a serious question? Fine. Then bring me some strawberries from the fridge. Will do! My little basket is almost done. But to make it even prettier, I'll add this bright ribbon on top. I'll weave it in. And the tips of the paper strips should be secured like this with glue. Perfect. Sue, I ate all the strawberries. Do we have any other berries? No, but I'm making a phone case with strawberry jam. If you help me, I'll share it with you. Hmm, well, all right. I drew this template for our future phone case. Now I'm going to need this craft foam, red and green. It's very nice and soft. If you trace the drawing over the foam, it'll leave a print on it. And let's cut out our printed outline. I'll use double-sided tape to stick the base to the phone case. And now I'll use our template to make a little pouch out of clear plastic. <laughs> Let's trace our berry with a pen, which was kindly provided by my assistant, Sam. <laughs> and cut out two of these. I'll secure them with clips on two sides. And make a small opening with a hole punch. Yes, that looks good. Now let's glue this pouch along the edges. Don't use too much glue here. And now I'll use a syringe and fill it with our strawberry jam. And fill our pouch with it. This looks cool, Sue! Don't forget to cover the opening to make sure the jam stays inside. And then glue the jam pouch to the phone case. Oh, hurry, Sue! I can't wait! Let's secure it really well. And now cut out the leaves out of some glitter green craft foam. Here, Sue, take this marker! Great! I'll decorate the leaves with a pattern and glue them right here. Let's add some seeds to the strawberry. This is the phone case we made! Sam, do you like it? Of course! I helped to make it! Is there any jam left? Oh, <laughs> Sammy. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to make the most summery phone case. First, we'll need a cutting board and some flour, as well as some fondant. Let's cut this fondant piece into three smaller pieces, like this. And dye it with the help of food coloring. We'll use blue, pink, and yellow. Oh, don't forget to wear gloves when you mix the coloring in, otherwise you'll just stain your hands. This is our first color. Looks really nice. And let's repeat the same process with yellow and pink. Now we need to roll the fondant out. I'm just using a large smooth glass for it. Let's place our phone on top. Yes, it's large enough. And now I'll cut a phone case out of the fondant, leaving some extra fondant all around the phone. And don't worry if your lines aren't straight. That can be easily fixed. Let's fold the edges in now on all sides. Oh, don't forget to wrap your phone before you do it. And I forgot about the camera. We need to make an opening for it. Carefully, that's better. Next, I'll take this yellow fondant and cut out the cone using a template. And we can make a pattern on it like this. Now let's apply some water and glue our cone to the phone case. Water acts like glue for the fondant and pieces stick really well to each other. Then I'll cut out ice cream using another template in our pink rolled out fondant. Let's make a pattern on it as well. And glue it to the case, just like the cone, with some water. Oh, <laughs> we need to free the camera again. Aw, this looks really cute, but something's missing. <gasps> right, let's decorate it with sprinkles. Now it looks perfect. Sam! Wow, can I eat it too? It looks like a real ice cream. Yum! I need to put it into the fridge before it melts.
For our next phone case, we are going to need this little plastic bottle, and we need to cut it in half. It's not that difficult if you heat the knife a little bit over a candle. But remember to be very careful with this step. Great! We're going to need only one half of the bottle, and we'll paint it dark brown. Use acrylic paint and a paintbrush. To make sure the bottle remains glossy, apply the paint on the inside of the bottle. To make the bottle recognizable, I'll stick a Coca-Cola label on it. I printed it on self-adhesive paper. Pear looks awesome! Now let's cut the base for the bottle from some soft plastic. I'll outline it first and then cut along the outline, nice and slow. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot! I need to pour some Coke into a baggie. Or a balloon. There we go. And insert a fancy straw to make it really pretty. Now let's place the balloon with the Coke into our bottle. Don't forget to secure the straw with some rubber bands. And cover the bottle with a plastic bottom, using hot glue this time. Just applying some glue to the edges. You've probably guessed what comes next. We need to glue our Coke to the phone case. So, don't you think that there's not enough Coke in there? <laughs> All right, I get your hint. Uh, give it to me! I need to make a call. going to show you a super simple idea. Those are the only things we're going to need. First, we need to assemble the box. Uh, oh, almost forgot. Uh, 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 Alright, I'm going to need someone who can assemble boxes. Uh, I see. Let me help you, little inventor. <laughs> ah, but I've already prepared the popcorn. Then pour it right into the new phone case. Oh, what? Sam! I remembered another phone case idea this morning when Sam scattered these cereal rings at breakfast. Ah. <sighs> These rings look a lot like donuts. It's so easy to decorate them like that. Right? Well, first, I'll stick them to the phone case using some edible glue. These rings are very fragile, so work carefully. Now I'm going to need some colorful icing. It's very convenient to apply it with these tubes. You only need to heat them a bit. Apply the icing in one thin layer. Use a circular motion. Then it'll drip and look like icing on a real donut. <gasps> oh, these colors are really pretty. And we're also going to decorate our mini donuts with these sprinkles. Just sprinkle the sprinkles on top and they'll stick to the icing. <gasps> wow, I think this looks really awesome and yummy. Guys, if you like it too, give this video a thumbs up and we're moving on to the next edible phone case. Today we make cool phone cases, but I've got one more idea for the earphones. We only need one Oreo cookie and one marshmallow. Hey Sue, help me clean the cream off the cookies. And we're also going to need edible glue. Uh, what is this? Susie, it's your new earphone holder! <laughs> to make sure they never get tangled. Cool, huh? Oh, yes, Sammy, it's awesome! Guys, do you like all these ideas? If you do, hit that bell button, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel! See you soon! Bye bye